if I'm honest, I didn't care much for that game in the build-up to it, uh, certainly in the few hours preceding it. It seemed like an unnecessary distraction ahead of what's going to be a real humdinger of a game against Wolves. However, I don't mind admitting that I was wrong. That, that was the game or the victory I didn't know I needed. I think there was, um, there was a lot that was amiss with that game, but I think we want to take uh, some positives. Well, I want to take some positives from that at least. And I think in particularly the defensive performance in particular, I don't think they were great going forward, by the way, Brentford. It was quite clear that they were missing their two main attackers uh, for obviously varying reasons. In fact, I don't even know if Tony, I guess, has he been banned yet? If not, he's, he's still injured. He was sat up in the stands, wasn't he? And I understand that. And Thomas Frank made a lot of changes, but I think that almost ramped up even more of the pressure on David Moyes because David Moyes had to win. Because there was our team, West Ham's team, had far more of a first team look about it than Brentford's did. But I think it's good. I think it will do the club good. I think it will do the players good. And if you can just for the set aside whether you want David Moyes to stay or whether you don't, I'm certainly in the mindset that we can't afford to throw away three points. So I'm still looking at the best way we can get three points against Wolves. And I think this probably uh, would have helped, certainly. It's not that there are not issues. Um, the Sai Ben Rama one is a is a big one. I will speak more about this tomorrow's video. I will speak in more detail about Sai Ben Rama and, and the Ben Rama situation because, in short, if you you'd have known my opinion on it when I heard the news that he wasn't in the team when myself and Gio did the build-up show to the game. Second game in a row, it wasn't the starting lineup. He's been our attacking player, best attacking player this season. Uh, there must have been a real vindication of Saeed Ben Rama, and I think he's handled himself really, really well. I don't just mean in the not celebrating against Brentford. He will know he's in good form, and for him not to be selected, it it seems a little bit odd. I'll go into as I say, go into more detail about it tomorrow, but um, he can really puff his chest out and. I'm not saying it's like a battle of wheels, and I do want to keep this video positive because there was a lot to enjoy about um, about that game. There's some good aspects to that game, but I think certainly can walk walk past David Moyes with head held high. And I'm sure Ben Rama's got far too much class than to turn around and, and wag his finger at David Moyes and say "told you so" because he probably didn't tell him so, but he probably knew. Ben Rama would have known he should have been in that team. Anyway, we'll leave that we'll leave that till tomorrow. Um, I, I was. I was pleased. Let's go through the players. I think let's just treat this as, as almost a little review, if, if you like, of what we saw in the game. Okay, really good defensive performance. I, I thought that was probably Ogbonna's best game since he's come back and, you know, from injury and whatnot. As I say, there is mitigation, which is I don't think that was Brentford's first team. But baby steps, you've got to start somewhere. So I thought he played well as, as part of a good, a good defence. I thought Dawson played uh, well as well. Um, you know, took the foul when he needed to take the foul when the fast lad came on and in, late in the second half. And I, I, Gerd, I just, Gerd's one of those players I just want to see more of him. When I see him play, I want to see more. That, that's, so I was pleased to see that as well. I still get frustrated with Emerson at times. I still think those wing backs need sorting out. As I say, this is not the consummate full performance. It's certain. Uh, there's certain parts that I was pleased with in this, but there's still an awful lot of work to be done. Let me make that point. However, however, Emerson's defensive position was a bit better. I still think he's anonymous for large parts of the game. You know, sometimes you watch football, right? And you think, oh, I forgot he was playing. But I guess that's no bad thing. Um, he's, I don't know, he falls between the margins. Um, uh, we got rid of Masuaku and we got this guy in and, and I'm not sure... Basically, if we get three million for Masuaku or whatever, which is what rumour what we might get, and we've spent thirty million on this guy, is he ten million better than Masuaku? I don't think so. I think he's Masuaku without the tricks, really. But he was better, better today, and and he provided a good cross for Sujek. We'll get onto him um, in a minute. Uh, Johnson defended well. Let's be fair; the defence did defend well, as much as their attack wasn't good. Clean sheet. That's great. I think they defended so well um, that they gave Fabianski. Really, very little to do. Um, so that, that's a good thing. Um, yeah, Johnson, not, not much in the attacking standpoint. But you know what? As I say, defensively, that was fine. Wing-backs, full-backs. 
I'd, I'd be spending some money in January. We'll get to that. There's plenty of time to talk about that. We've, got, we've still got most of the month left. Um, uh, so, okay, so Declan Rice played in a sort of holding role. We, we started with three at the back. They, they switched formation um, when he took Suchek off, which was substitution for Ben Rama, uh, just in case you haven't seen the game. Uh, Rice, right, look, Rice played well. Defensively, um, disciplined, was the, played as the anchor, the anchor man. A bit more freedom uh, when the system changed, but won a, a wonderful tackle. Beautiful interception, by the way, um, to... Which basically resulted in the goal. Wonderful, wonderful tackle, perfectly timed. I think Brentford were calling for the foul, uh, went through, and um, that's how that was what supplied side Ben Rama. Ben Rama was first to react, um, s sort of strode forward, unleashed a shot. It was like a swerving shot, really windy, but you know, really windy, wet, horrible conditions uh, in in this game. Uh, before I do go any further, I almost forgot the sponsor. Apologies, One Football app, who are sponsoring this video, and we do thank them very much. If you don't have the One Football app, then then get get it. Download it to your phone. You can use the link below to download it. It's free. It really is the best football app out there. There have been times when One Football haven't sponsored us, and yet. Throughout all that time, we still talk about the OneFoot web, we still use it. It's stayed on both mine and Geo's phone all the time. The reason we like it so much, it gives you the news fast. And what it does, it aggregates all of the news, but only the news that you want. I only want West Ham news, I tell the app. And it takes all the West Ham news from all the websites, all the newspapers, puts it all together and delivers it to my phone so I don't have to go searching for it. Give it a try. If you don't like it, you can just uninstall it. But it is free. Please use the link below. And I know you've come from Hammers Chat. A uh, very wet and windy game. Pitch was a pitch was horrible. Um, if you if you didn't know, by the way, London Irish, the, uh, the rugby team, rugby union team, played it. It looks like a rugby team play on that pitch. So, and I, I don't not just saying it now. I've I've thought it before, but I think you know because it's been so wet and so windy. Uh, so it made it a difficult game. But it was a difficult game for Brentford as well. I, so I thought there were some of our players who struggled um, more than others. As someone who didn't struggle was Ben Rama when he scored that goal. But it, I, I definitely think the wind sort of took it and it was sort of swerving. It was very straight at the goalkeeper. But you know what? We'd had, we'd barely, well, look, Antonio played all game and didn't threaten the goalkeeper. So, um, you know, you, you got to shoot. you got to buy a ticket to win the lottery, haven't you? <laughs> to be fair with me, even when you buy a ticket, you don't win the lottery. But you know what I'm saying. You've got to be in it to win it. Uh, so Rice played well. Sue check. Look, Suchek was given his licence to go further forward. Moyes alluded to it in in his interviews in the couple of days preceding the game. Given more licence, got into a position to score a goal. Good cross from Emerson, to be fair to him. Um, uh, fluffed his lines, Suchek. No, did he fluff his lines? Got caught trying to... Ball got stuck under his feet. He was trying to shift the ball out from under his feet and basically gave the ball straight to them in the second half. Uh, launched, launched an attack. Launched a Brentford attack. We got so much better as an attacking force when Suchek went off. We really did. And not not just because it's Ben Rama. I want to make that case. We'll talk about Ben Rama tomorrow. I think Ben Rama should be starting. But even if it was just somebody else, just anyone other than Suchek, I think we would have been better if Four Nails played. Lanzini played. Downs had played. Um, he's got a real chance here, David Moyes, to use this as a springboard and to improve the team. But he's he's got a... I still think, I think if he loses to Wolves, he's got... But um, so I don't think that changes. The best chance David Moyes can give himself is to sort of stop the, the Suchek experiment. He's not in form at the moment. He's really not. Uh, Paqueta was better. Hey, there you go. Um, he was better. <laughs> There's some frustrating times with him. But I tell you what, there was some good pieces of skill. He seems to be getting more on his teammates' wavelength. Uh, I, I do think those sort of games are harder for those type of players, by the way, with, with the surface and the wind and the rain and all the rest of it. But you know what? Even when maybe his passes weren't going for him, his first touch was good. Um, his control was good. And and he battles. He wins. He tackles well. He, he battles back and, you know, he wins the ball well. I, I'm... Again, I want to see more of him. The more I see of him, the, you know, the more I want, um, the more I want to see him play again. So that was really good. Really pleased to see him um, play like that as well. And uh, he came off as a late substitute for a uh, downs came on, but this was late, 80, 85th minute. Made a couple of substitutions. Brought four nails on for Antonio. Antonio was um, clumsy. I mean, Antonio struggled with the conditions as well. 
it's funny. I think if you've just got sound basic technique, you'll sort of handle the conditions. If you're trying really extravagant stuff, flicks and all the rest of it, like Paqueta, it can look a bit silly in the bad weather. I think if your technique is, is quite basic, like Antonio, you also struggle in the bad weather. I thought he battled well. I thought he looked fit. I thought he looked strong. Ultimately, he didn't threaten the opposition goal. And not only that, when he did go on runs and it looked like he was going to shoot or going to pass it through telegraphed. I thought I always knew what he was going to do next. So I can only assume the defenders did. And most of his stuff got blocked and, and thwarted and stopped. Um, he was in, he was ineffective. And I don't know if you watched my video uh, yesterday. <laughs> Not many of you did actually. Uh, <laughs> uh, I did a video sort of on need another striker uh, and Antonio. Um, because I, I don't feel Antonio is a massive threat for us at the moment. I think we need another striker that's a goal threat. Um, he just seems a bit of a shadow of himself, really. And I felt that again. Although he was fit. He, he was fit. He was sharp. It was not fitness. It's just not, he's just not threatening the goal. Uh, then we get to Jared Bowen. Bowen, um, he huffed and he puffed. He really, he really did. I thought the... Um, well, there seems to be a couple of players that would switch around and, and delegate who was marking him. Uh, I never felt he really got the better of his marker um, at any point. But that's fine. I think Bowen's in, in good form, really. And I do think it's it's hard there. I, I think Bowen is... Bowen's one of the quicker players in our team, but he's he's not fast. Um, if you play if you play FIFA, he's probably a 7 out of 10. It's not actually FIFA, is it? It's out of 100. You get what I mean. He's probably 75 out of 100 if you play that, that type of thing. Um, he's... Pacey enough, but he's not he's not rapid. So I think for about a third of the season, he'll come up with he'll come up against defenders who are as quick or quicker than him. Um and I think he, that, that's what sort of what happened today, really. And I think it is difficult. The pitch, as I say, was was horrible. I don't think I don't think it really helped really the Johnson wasn't giving him a, a great supply from that right hand side. So there's lots of mitigating factors. He was okay. He, he wasn't. He wasn't terrible. Um, but as I said, we did get significantly better when Ben Rama came on. And actually, it's no surprise. Actually, he did get a couple of chances once Ben Rama came on. Just someone a little bit more creative on it. Oh, I know what I wanted to say. There was a point in the first half. You know, not when the defenders sort of shepherd it out. For they they want to shepherd it out to get the goal kick. So you know, the West Ham West Ham have, have kicked the ball and it is trickling out for a goal kick, right? That's what they want to do. They're shielding it. So the guy, whatever, I don't even know whoever it was, Brentford player, he's, he's stopping Paqueta from getting it. Paqueta was really good, sort of wrapped his foot round there and dragged it back. Um, now, the referee, uh, incorrectly, by the way, incorrectly thought that the ball had crossed the line. It hadn't. Paqueta retrieved, it was quite impressive, actually. Paqueta retrieved the ball as the defender was trying to shepherd it out, but the ball didn't, tra didn't go completely over the line um, and it was sort of in it was in the box as well and he dragged it back flummoxed the defender he was he was in the box he was unmarked he, was just, he just would have side footed it to somebody would have well look I, we, I say we would have scored a goal somebody one of the West Ham players would have had a shot from three or four yards put it that way and the guy pulled him down it was it was a foul um, and it, I, apparently I don't know I, I it was it was weird because there weren't any wasn't any particularly good footage today, and um, I was watching it on some weird, weird. It was a good stream to be fair. The quality was good, but the, the commentary not so much. So I don't I didn't really ever know if there was VAR or if someone was checking it, but it was a penalty, and and the ball didn't go over the ball didn't go over the line. He did really well. So I I thought you know we could have we could have had that. Um, they did hit the post Brentford, but it was offside. So I'm not sure it counted. I think. There wasn't a lot in it. I'm not going to pretend that West Ham were large, loads, loads and loads of better team. I don't think we were. There wasn't a lot in it. I didn't think we were very good attacking uh, at all. But better when Ben Rama came on. You just look at it. As I say, we'll discuss that in tomorrow's video. Um, what Ben Rama must be thinking at the moment. I'm sure he's happy. Um, I really am. But you know, uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm, otherwise I'm going to launch into what I want to talk about tomorrow, which is basically Moisey needs to sort this stuff out he really does but overall I think that's good it was re I was really pleased uh, for the fans as well because obviously not just cold and wet for the players is it um, and it was horrible today uh, I, my son had a match this morning whoa my word you know it was you know and, and funny enough I said to my son my son was watching it 
And he was, you know, sometimes been a little bit critical. And, and I said, well, you didn't find it too easy. And he was playing on a 4G pitch today, my son. So you didn't find it too easy when, you know, it was, it was really windy as well and the, and the rain was lashing down. You know, he's being critical of someone's first touch. So, well, um, that being said, I must say, I'm not just saying it because, like, proud dad I am, he did score the winner in a 4-3 win today. But they were 3-0 up, my son's team were 3-0 up. The other team come back to a 3 all, And he, it, almost the last kick of the game, and it was from a corner. There you go. Very dramatic, wasn't it? Uh, anyway, so uh, I couldn't go. I couldn't criticise him too much because he could have just turned around and and and, and top trumped me with a win. So, but uh, yeah, it was difficult conditions. It was hard just to just to stand there and stand there and watch. You know, stand next to a, a you know stand watching a game for a couple of hours, which is basically what you're doing when you're cold and wet and all the rest of it. Not easy. So I was absolutely delighted for the fans um, today, and they were in good voice, a lot louder, sang a lot more than the uh, than the Brentford fans. Um, so yeah, I look. All in all, I'm I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. What does it mean? Much? No, not not really. Probably be a few more um, a few more things to worry about in videos um this this week. Uh, hey, look, I tell you that one's that one's for David Gold. I'm sure that one's for David Gold. Let's say that much. It was um, it was good to see Ben Rama scoring as well. Good to see him with a smile on his face and um, yeah, and a good to that's good good for for all the positives that I mentioned um. Yeah, definitely want to see a bit more of Gerd. Looking forward to seeing a Gerd and Zuma. That's going to be interesting. Anyway, I'll catch up with you tomorrow. I'm sure I'll be having a moan about Ben Rama.